Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games. Um, so the site is Shogi Wars. They allow you to play three rated games per day for free. Uh, after which, if you want to play lots more, if you find this addictive, good luck. Then um, in that case, you have to pay additional uh, fees or you just play on a different game server. Um, so you don't have to play on this site. There are other good sites out there, too. Oh, this is fun. My opponent's playing the opening that I like to play. What do I do about this? I don't know. Um, let's learn how to play this better. Also, maybe I should have moved this gold up. Maybe I'm in deep trouble already. Let's move this. Just out of an abundance of caution. And then ask if the opponent's going to use their gold to fight against my rook. That's unique. Alright, so they've defended many pawns. Um, I don't have any trick here. No trick wins a pawn. So... Um, it would be sensible for me to activate my pieces as well. Interesting. I did not foresee that. Um... Let's continue activating my rook. How bad can this be? Their rook is blocked by a pawn, so if my rook is not blocked by a pawn, perhaps I have the moral high ground. Um, my rook is floating, which generally is a dangerous thing. Um, but I can move my rook elsewhere. So, if there's some trick here, I've been searching for a few moves to see if my opponent has some trick. I don't think they have one. It's a tricky position, but I don't think my opponent profits from this. They've placed their bishop, so now I can start attacking this bishop. Um... On the other hand, I don't exactly have a shelter for my king. So back I go. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure where my king belongs. In the center is probably not the right answer. But I don't know where it belongs, so... I'm not sure what to do here. Yep, my opponent gives up their vanguard pawn. Um, I guess they want a rook exchange, and that's why they're doing this. Um... Nanafun. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, uh, this check. I keep looking and trying to find, okay, where can they check me? Where can they check me? And um, if there's no immediate check, what is there to react to, I wonder? In many previous games, I would react to things that didn't exist. Um, now sometimes I'm failing to react to things that do exist. There's some balance. So this hits my rook. Um, but I don't think there is a continuation. So as soon as my king moves, this will check their king. Hmm. If they drop a silver back here, I can step up and, I mean, that's what I was thinking about doing. I could also take two generals for a rook, but then my king is pretty exposed. Um... But yeah, this gold forks a silver and a knight. But um, I'm not sure how good that is. Yeah, moving the knight might have been risky. I don't know. On the other hand, both of... Oh. Interesting. They don't have any long-range attacking pieces. Um, so if I take this, they drop another pawn, and, like, the silver is forced to exchange for a silver here. Well, it's fine, right? So if they check me again, I can step back. They can drop a silver. I could be forced to exchange. Or maybe this is less... This is more dangerous than I think. If I go back, if they take this, I can take and then run away. Um, the only danger is that my rook gets blocked, but that's fine. So my rook is blocked, which is sad, but it's I've survived worse fates. Um, So I could move my rook somewhere else. How does this attack continue? They could promote the silver to continue defending this other silver. Um, that's possible. But uh, I get to attack in this game, right? Um, I don't know how best to do that here. So... Oh, if I check, they can't block my check. That's interesting. Cut off the king's escape route is today's uh, tip. So... Uh, the king can't escape through this diagonally because my bishop cuts off that escape route. Um, so, oh, but actually if they'd gone elsewhere, well, I guess this would have been the best try. 
No, that's mate in one. Alright. Thanks for the game. So yeah, that was the best defense they could muster because they had nothing to block with. And I found a checkmate there. Interesting. Good luck. Hmm. Let's see. Let's not let things get completely insane like last game. All right. Um. I'm not totally sure what I'm doing anymore. I just didn't want to see the same opening we had last game. But um. Yeah, I've steered myself in a difficult direction here. Um, hmm. I thought there was a uh, animation or bat. There it is. A oh, crab castle. Um, so, but what now? That I don't know. So this is what I saw, is so that I could protect my bishop's head and get it developed here. But I'm attacking from my castle, which is dangerous, and I shouldn't be doing that. So... I'm not sure what best to do next. Oh, meanwhile, they get to build a really pleasant... They get to, but they've not built it yet. Um, so they could move the king over and build Hymeno. This is my best opportunity to engage, so I should engage immediately um, before they've solidified this castle. Um, does this work? I don't know. But the longer I wait, um, the more my opportunity is lost. So this hits this gold, this rook, and the pawn beyond the rook. This in turn allows this pawn to promote, and I also have a promoted bishop. Um, That said, I am <laughs> just a bit nervous here, because uh, sure, I've taken the initiative, but I don't know what I'm doing. This is new to me. Um... All right, well, we'll defend the horse. That can't be a terrible move. But yeah, I'm nervous, as one could possibly be here. They've built a really strong castle, and I've built one that I've not used before. Um, so... Um, I wonder what that does. Well, one thing it does is allows me to take this pawn and promote this next. But 
Like, what is my opponent thinking? Maybe they want to move the rook here. Maybe they want to just push this pawn directly and then try to hit my floating rook. Maybe that's what's going on. Hmm. All right, we're going to reduce the scope of this rook so that I can take this without my horse getting attacked and then push this next. Hmm. So I was debating taking this, but then my knight doesn't have a future taking that. Um, mm, it's fine. Is it? I mean, they want to, like, use a bishop down here. No, this is a reasonable defensive move. I should do it. Just because I don't see an immediate attack after doing this doesn't mean it's bad. So I've covered my knight's head. I've also covered my horse's head. My rook's not under attack this instant. Um, they... Uh, I'm trying to figure out how they might attack me again. If they drop a pawn here, if my horse takes, they could take this. Mm -hmm. Oh, then I could move my horse, hit this rook yeah, while the silver is hanging. Mm. Then they could defend the silver. Then my horse could attack the rook, but the silver could come back to attack my horse while this exchange is offered, but I could drop a pawn. Then they take my horse, I take their rook, and it's a mess. Um, anyway, none of that happened. Instead, they put their bishop into a place where many things can be attacked pretty easily. Let's just step back one, not yield our castle. And, okay, they could take this pawn. They're not going to take it. Um, but they could. It is legal to take this pawn. Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. Provocative for sure. What could they use? Well, if I move the knight up, they move their silver up. I don't have a good next move. That's... That's why I brought this horse over here to defend the knight. Um, and if they had some amazing pawn drop, I would be crushed here, but I don't think they do. Um, Go for me. Alright, so I resist this bishop. It's going to have to run. Or exchange, but I don't think the exchange is any good. Right. Um... So I get to promote this. Hmm. 
I'd like to promote my rook. It's not going to be free to do. Another game decided in the opening, he says. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Um... So I attack this bishop. I'm forcing them to build a good castle. Why am I doing this? Well, it's because I'm just paranoid. <laughs> Paranoia does not suit me well. If I drop my rook sometime, it's going to be quite the mess, isn't it? This rook is such a nice target. Well, they say that a pawn is worth a thousand golds. Um, let's see how many golds my opponent is willing to pay for my pawns. Alright, there's a pawn. How much do you want that? Alright, here's another pawn. Oh, 10,000 golds. Wow. Inflation these days. Am I right? Um, yeah, I guess it was 10,000. You're right. Here I am offering them at such a discount. All right, so they have a knight. I'm going to take this rook. The bishop is still hanging. I'll take this bishop now. Oh, maybe it was a hundred thousand. Wait, wasn't it a million? I could have sworn it was a million. Wait, it, it was a trillion, right? I forget. It's some big number. Um, but okay, I think I've survived this opening. My opponent is doing well to continue to make threats. Um, I 
they're doing the best they can in this extremely difficult situation. But here I have both bishops and both rooks and three out of four knights. It's going to be difficult for the opponent to launch any sort of a surprise attack here. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to walk into a fork. Hmm. Of course I'm nervous that I'm going to bungle this somehow. Um. They are fighting. Credit to them for an, such an intense fighting spirit. If I take that, I get mated. Wait, no, my horse covers my king. I'm fine. Ippun. Alright, this is a bad check note on my part, but thanks for the game. Yeah. Alright, two games down, one to go. That was quite the fighting spirit. Good luck. Yeah, if I played quickly and confidently, we've seen me do that on many occasions. That hasn't always yielded a win. For some reason. It's like I don't know what all the good moves are. Um, Alright, um, let's try to play the static rook thing. Strategy. Um, let's see where we end up this time. Uh, 
what's our next proverb going to be? Wait, if I exchange bishops now, eh, it's not worth it. But yeah, sometimes once the king is moved here, there's no tactical shots with the bishop exchange anymore. Whereas like here, there could theoretically be some. Um, so I leave this diagonal open. And see what the opponent does. All right. Um, let's block the diagonal now. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, I could unblock my rook. This isn't dangerous at all, except for all the tactics. So, is this a good idea? Is this a terrible idea? Time will tell. For whatever reason, I find this concept of them bringing the knight out interesting. Um, Hmm. Now, they're considering pushing this rook pawn. Um. Hmm. My rook is in danger. I need to be a little bit cautious here. All right, let's play this. I think it's not a waste of a move. That I did not expect, but probably should have expected. Um, Hmm. Okay, I'm going to drop this back. And just try to calm down a bit. None of the silver. What's the silver doing there? That's interesting. So I want to push this before they have a chance to like bring the silver up, defend the bishop's head. So this silver is going to have to do that duty instead. Um, so now I no longer have my silver covering my bishops. They're going to push on this file soon, and they do. Um, but then my silver can cover that instead here. And we have some extremely wonky transposition. Um, so I prevent the silver from advancing, and then I could move my bishop elsewhere. So it's not advancement might not be easy. Um, I 
All right, we drop the bishop back and hopefully have not walked into some absolutely painful tactic. Um, Hmm, right, the knight. I always forget about the knight. Um, Go home. Shit, I don't know what to do. Okay, we're freestyling it. Um... We have a free range king. This king gets lots of exercise. So potentially if we exchange over... Oh, okay, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Um... Alright, I attack the bishop. Oh, I can't count. That's a problem. Being able to count is a useful skill. Alright, fine. You get um, three generals. I'm oh, sorry, you get two generals for the bishop. Just one more than I intended to give. You're not taking my rather generous offer. That's a blunder. Um... I'm just a bit beside myself that they didn't take that offer. So instead we have this position. Yeah, let's so take this offer instead. Hmm. Holy crap, really? We're going here? Okay. I don't get it. You got me extremely confused, sir. I don't think that's all my fault. Okay, what are you doing next here? Not surviving. Okay. That is a possibility. I thought you were going to say, I'm going to find some clever way to survive here. Um, but... I mean, to each their own, right? Something.
Thanks for the game. Yeah, if I lose this game, it's because of the proverb. It's always the proverb, right? If you win this game, it's thanks to the generous teaching of Shobi Harbor. <laughs> yep. Gotta put things in perspective, right? <laughs> no, the proverbs are there just for fun and interest. It's rare that you actually get to see me apply it and then apply it correctly because I'm an amateur. I'm still learning this stuff, but it's good. It's fun when I actually do apply things correctly. So I hope we enjoyed these games. Thanks for watching.